Hi, today I want to make a little kufta. Kufta is a little bit of meatballs which it has a variety of the uses in a Persian culture. Uh, sometimes we serve it over the rice, uh, sometimes we make a sandwich of it, and sometimes we drop it over the soup, sometimes it goes in the stew. I have a one pound of ground beef right here, and right here I have a medium onion which I chopped it and then I have half of the jalapeno uh, and I have uh, like a four stem of flat leaf parsley which I washed uh, and uh, I cut it clean uh, and I have uh, one teaspoon of sumach this is the sumach and I have half a teaspoon of the coriander seed grinded this is turmeric, it's a half a teaspoon and I have a half a teaspoon or one fourth of the teaspoon it depends on how much you like, black pepper and a salt, it goes based on the taste right now I put like a half a teaspoon you can go between quarter teaspoon to half a teaspoon for the salt uh, and then start with a small amount of the salt because later on you can add it up but you cannot take it off put all my onion to the food processor and my flat leaf parsley and my jalapeno and I'm gonna blend it this way it's so much easier than you want to sit and chop up if you know me, you know I'm all, all about shortcut in cooking. Because I want to add my spice evenly all around my meat, I find it more efficient to add it to this uh, food processor mixer. So I have a salt, pepper, Tomorik, coriander seed, and somach. I add everything here. I would blend this one more time. Okay. And I'm gonna add it to my ground beef. All right, this is one pound of the ground beef. And I add uh, one grated onion and uh, like a uh, one third of the jalapeno. I grate that one too or chop it finely. To mix in your meat, you should use your hand and fold it over. Just wash your hand and do it with the hand. Do not wear the gloves because the plastics uh, or the latex gloves it has the ingredient which you get in your food and it's not really healthy to eat um, the wash hand is the best tool you could have I'm grabbing the small amount of the mixed ground beef I made and I make a round out of it and I make a little bit of meatballs. My meatballs is kind of small. I kind of like the smaller meatball than large. See? Yeah. Here I warm up the three tablespoon of vegetable oil. I'm using a canola, and I'm gonna put my meatballs uh, in a hot pan over the oil, and I'm gonna stir fry it. Don't overload the pan. You don't want it to steam you want it to be fried so it has to have a distance and I put this on the medium high heat and I'm gonna stir fry it see how my meatball is stay together I didn't add any breadcrumb or an egg or 
uh, bread dough. Only things I did when I made the meat ready, I put them in the refrigerator for 24 hours. It gets a sticky itself without adding anything extra. Look at that. It takes five or six minutes to my meatball get ready. Very fast. You could make a sandwich out of it. You can put them in the stew. You can put it on top of the rice with a variety of the rice dishes it would serve. 